Okay, here we are in NAMM 2012. We are at the Moog booth, and we're standing here talking to Steve Dunnington, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about a new analog bass synth they've got coming out here called the Minotaur. All right. Hi. Thanks for, uh, thanks for checking this out. Um, the Minotaur is our newest synthesizer product. It's an analog bass synthesizer. It's based on our uh, Taurus 1 and Taurus 3 uh, uh, instruments. Um, it's a really simple synthesizer. Uh, it's analog, as I mentioned. Um, and uh, it's got two oscillators. Uh, and when we say it's a bass synthesizer, we mean that it's designed to produce bass. It does that. The, the Taurus is known for a really thick, uh, uh, high impact sound, and, and we deliver that here. Um, everything's, uh, you see a, a knob per function interface here for the synth engine, which means that it's really easy to tweak in your sound and actually perform with the sounds. really easy to quickly dial in a sound that you like. Something with a little punch or something maybe a little darker. Um, so for the oscillators, the sound sources are either sawtooth waves or square waves. Um, here's a sawtooth wave. You can turn that to a square wave. So both those waves are really good for bass sounds. They, they move a lot of air. Um, um, so it has a classic tone, but it, we got a lot of things uh, that, are, that make it designed for modern production. Everything that you see on the front panel is controllable via MIDI um, so that you can integrate this into a recording environment like with a DAW such as Live or Pro Tools or Logic. Um, can you, can you plug like other instruments through the filter? You and can. And such? Yeah, if we look in the back here, um, you got DIN MIDI in and USB MIDI in and out. Um, we have our audio output. We have external audio in for processing sounds through the filter. Uh, and then we have also analog control inputs uh, for, for integrating this with other analog gear. Um, well, the other nice thing I, I'm noticing is it's so compact and small. So for maybe DJ rigs, some of the guys you know have the, they have a drum machine yeah. with them, you know, and they want to throw in some because this definitely, if you can't hear it, is got that classic fat Moog bass sound yeah. to it. Absolutely. So, yeah, and for guys who do bass tracks, there's a there's a really interesting feature that uh, kind of new when you when mix two analog oscillators together, they beat against each other, and you hear this up and down phasing. Uh, desirable, nice sound, um, but if you're doing um, uh, really high energy uh, bass tracks, you want to have uh, maximum impact with each note. We have a thing called note sync that allows you to re-trigger the phase of the oscillators with every note. So uh, I turn it on, so you hear it always starting from the top of the phase. If I turn that off, every time I the face goes up and down and it doesn't care. So it allows you to keep equal energy and maximum impact, push the maximum amount of air with each note. Um, so that's that's kind of a cool feature that this, you know, brings the, the Taurus a little bit forward. Very cool. Now it's two oscillator, right? Yeah. Okay, two oscillator and uh, uh, which filter? Is it a classic Moog filter? It is or? the Moog Taurus filter, yeah. Okay. Which is the... It's same topology as the, the Moog ladder filter. Everything that we, that we make has this topology. Um, the Taurus, uh, the filter design is a little bit different though, which gives it its characteristic sound. It's like a really, it has a, a little bit of overdrive in it, and it's, it's uh, I mean, you don't hear it as distortion, but it, it adds a, a, a thickness and impact to the sound that, that is different than our other, other synthesizers. Now, uh, what's, our, what's our price point, and when can we expect seeing it shipping? Let's see, so the retail price is $679, um, and we start production next month, and uh, so we'll start shipping them by the end of next month, uh, start to see them in stores, you know, the spring of this year. Sounds good, compact, small, uh, ba analog bass hits, the Minotaur, check it out. Yeah.